Okay. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I want to thank you guys so much for your support. Over the last few videos of Graduation Series, your guys' supports in the comment section has just gone through the roof. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Right, today is going to be a workout walkthrough. I'm going to be doing a full body session um, purely because I'm not going to train all weekend because I am packing for Liverpool. So, the next video you guys see will be a Liverpool vlog, um, but for now, I'm gonna get ready, get changed, get my pre-workout in. Let's get this workout started. little update on the garage you guys saw in the last video or the video before I don't know I kind of lose track they all blend into one um, but I had a couple of messages asking about the garage the extension is essentially gonna go well not the extension the the renovation if you like is gonna go from here to here I think or maybe there or here I, I don't know either way these are getting cleared out and everything is now in here which leaves us this space for all the speaker and everything like that and then the extra piece of equipment will go right about here. Something like that anyway. We're not entirely sure how it's going to work yet, but... Ahem. <clears throat> Jess. <laughs> right, anyway, we're not entirely sure how it's going to work, um, but right, let's carry on. So today is going to be not a low intensity session, but it's also not going to be massively vigorously intense. Like, we're kind of just going through the motions, we're doing the entire body because I'm not going to be able to train all weekend at Liverpool. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is a big compound from each muscle group. So we're going to just work our way through the body, going chest, back, shoulders, legs, and then we'll probably finish off with some isolation and stuff like that. Get a good arm pump to last me the weekend. You know, in terms of reps and sets and all that kind of stuff, I'm just gonna see how I go. If I'm not tired on an exercise, I'm gonna do another set. So like, I've done three sets on bench, but it's only on 70 kilos. So I might just do, you know, five big sets on that and then move on. As long as I'm stimulating the muscles, that's all I'm really bothered about today. I'm not at all bothered about hitting 100 kg. I'm not at all bothered about shoulder pressing 90 kg. None of that crap, right? All I'm gonna do is just stimulate the muscles and make sure I have a good workout. As long as I leave with a smile on my face and I'm sound and we all know that that's gonna happen. for like the first time ever. Uh, uh, get in there. <laughs> hey puppy dog. Hey puppy dog. Hey. Right. Sit. Oh, good girl. You just chilling, Flicky? Hey, eh? you just chilling? Yeah? <laughs> good girl. <laughs>
So you guys see the title of today's video. Um, my biggest barriers at the minute. And now that's my biggest barriers kind of since graduation. Um, and I feel like it's been a lot more difficult than I expected. Um, and there's a number of reasons kind of for it. One of those is that myself and Charlotte are no longer living together. And so that is, it's kind of shit really. We've lived together since the first day we've ever known each other. We lived together in first year, second year and third year. And then it's gone. And so that is kind of playing mentally on my mind. It's just a bit shit really. We're sorting something out. Um, and before you know it, we'll be back living together. But you know, it's just taking time to, to sort out, which is, you know, unfortunate. That is having an impact on my training and my diet as well, purely because when we see each other, it's like a treat. It's, you know, something, well, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. It's like a treat because we don't get to see each other. Usually we come home from uni or come home from, you know, whatever, and we'd be there to see each other at night and, you know, watch some TV and just chill and just talk really, like, you know, one-to-one -one in person. Um, but now we see each other, you know, two days a week, something like that, if we're lucky. And so that has kind of led to a mentality of, well, it's a treat when we see each other. And so we don't want to, you know, eat healthily. We want to maybe go out for dinner or, you know, cook something slightly unhealthy, have some chips, like have a few drinks because it's a treat. And we want to enjoy that time together, that small amount of time in comparison to what we're used to. We want to enjoy that. And so having a few drinks and having, you know, a, a bag of popcorn between us or something like that, we've not really had a second thought about it. We've sort of just done it because we want to enjoy that time we have together. And so obviously that has taken a toll on, you know, body fat percentage. Not that I'm like massive or, but I have put on, I'd say I'd put on a pound or two since I kind of st I've stopped weighing myself. So that in combination with a few other things, which, you know, I'll kind of go into, um, it's making it quite difficult to stay on track and and all of that, so I don't know. Like I say, we are working on it and we will be living together again before you know it, sort of, you know, it might be two months down the line or something. I, I don't know, to be completely honest with you, I don't know, but it will come around before you know it. And once we are living together again, though that element of it being a treat will go away because then when that happens, it will just be the norm and you know, it won't be a treat. We're working on it, but like I say, that temptation and that element of it being a treat will not be there once we live together. I think. Another issue that I kind of need your guys' advice on is, well, I, I'm in a bit of a rut at the minute, sort of, what do I do with myself? What do I do in terms of bulking, in terms of cutting? Like I'm at around about 15% body fat, something like that right now, maybe a little bit more, which is by no means lean, but is a lot leaner than I was, you know, at the beginning of the 10 weeks series. So my question to you guys is what do I do? Do I cut down until I get around about 12% body fat where I'm nice and lean? And then, you know, I have a good starting point. I have that lean photo shoot coming up, but I have no idea when that's gonna be. I don't even know if that's gonna go ahead. You know, plans have kind of stalled. And so I have no real reason as of right now to get super lean, but you know, I'm missing hitting big numbers every week. I'm missing seeing the progression every single week. I'm kind of just maintaining exactly where I'm at. And that is only entertaining for a certain amount of time. And that certain amount of time is, you know, near in the end. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do I cut down and you know see how I can look? Because I have a decent amount of size now. I've been training a couple of years. I have a decent amount of size. So I'd be quite interested to see if I got quite lean what I'd look like, but then at the same time, I know I have the potential to put on a hell of a lot more size. And so I'm kind of ready to do that too. Uh, uh, barriers everywhere, man, I don't know. And the thing that kind of rings true the most, um, in my opinion, is the fact that I am tired, man. I am so tired because, don't get me wrong, I'm loving this new job and, you know, it's an amazing opportunity and a great thing for me to be doing. It's amazing to be a part of a team, you know. 
but I'm knackered, man. It's just so physically and mentally draining doing the new job because there's so much to learn, there's so many names to learn, so like you have to be enthusiastic and positive all of the time because you are, you know, you want to give the members and the, the customers the best experience that they can possibly have. So I'm finding myself very, very tired and obviously that's a big, big, big barrier because if I come home or finish work, at, like sometimes I start really early and finish it around about lunchtime, um, but then after that lunchtime, I'm just tired. And unless I have a White Monster pre-workout, White Monster pre-workout, like, I just can't even function, man. And that's for now, only for now, because, you know, there's just so much to learn. Once I got used to it and kind of got into a routine, then I think I'll be a lot better. But it's just finding that routine that works for me and figuring out, you know, how the job works and how everything works in the workplace. Once I've got that, I think I'll be good. But that, in my opinion, is the biggest barrier to, you know, my training and just everything, everything right now. Um, so hopefully, I, I know that's only going to be temporary, but you know, I'm sure you guys can understand and appreciate it is a big deal and it's quite difficult to you know, get to grips with everything. If you've been in the same position as me and you've gone from a student lifestyle to a working lifestyle and you know, you're doing lots of hours and it's tiring man, it is knackering, absolutely knackering. I mean, like I said, it's great to be a part of a team, but the biggest barrier at the minute is, is, is tiredness, just genuine fatigue. Um, but it's only a phase. Do not let it get you down. Don't get discouraged. Don't let it stop you from going to the gym. Like right now, I'm training full body prep, preparing because we are heading to Liverpool. So that is going to be a freaking awesome weekend. I'm going to finish this workout strong because that is what we do here. Together, we will grow. <laughs> We are getting a train first thing in the morning to Liverpool, so the next video you guys see will be in Liverpool. Uh, again, don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'll figure it out, don't worry. But that is it for today's video, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. I'm going to start a new thing in the comment section. Put your favourite second, favourite minute of the video in the comment section. Let me know what it was and why. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for your support. I have to be quiet still, but I will see you guys in the next video. Together we will grow, and I will see you guys in Liverpool.